I am Praful Dutt Singh. I am going to talk on functional food and nutraceuticals, its importance, scope and challenges for industries. So basically when we are talking about functional food, somebody asked me uh, that all foods are functional in, in itself. So why we are talking about functional food? So the reason is, we already know that all the nutrients are functional in itself, but those nutrients, those foods which are beyond basic nutrition, we call it as functional. And nutraceutical contains both functional food as well as some other uh, uh, form of nutrients which uh, ultimately imparts good health uh, for population. Now, if we are talking about India or even world, we had a thought, earlier thought coming from our ancient times that let, let food be the medicine and medicine be the food. So it comes from 2500 years back. So if we are talking about that, so that trend is actually uh, beneficial for a population like India where we can't afford to buy a fancy product in form of nutraceuticals or functional foods or like that. There are four categories of persons who would uh, feel the importance of functional food and nutraceuticals. First is one who believes in the traditional thought that let food be the medicine and medicine be the food. They would not go beyond the kitchen as our famous ancestor Bhagavat already mentioned that kitchen is in itself a sufficient place for all the remedies which we face in our lifestyle and all. Nowadays all those uh, class of people who uh, thinks that they, they should go for functional food also should be aware of their negligencies. For example, if they think that they should take uh, a fat metabolizer, a fulpuric acid, they should also think in what condition it could work proper or it could be hazardous to health. If we do, can't take proper oxygen and can't do exercise and taking alpha lipoic acid just to reduce our fat and become less obese, so that is not the solution. If we are thinking that we will not do exercise and take all those amino acids and proteins and all, that is not uh, preferable. Another class is those who focus on performance, for example, bodybuilders, for example, athletes, for example, swimmers, they have focus on performance. So they have to take additional food for their performance. So they take dietary supplements. So that is required for their purpose. And also, if we are talking about the companies which are facing uh, challenges for their scope into this field to make uh, country and world more healthy, they face lot of challenges. For example, if you are talking about silver spoon and egg, both are beneficial for our health in itself. But if we take egg with the silver spoon, it is toxic. Likewise, when we are formulating a nutraceutical product, so there may be some uh, improper combinations which could hazard, which, which could be hazardous to our health. So other than that, regulatory issues are there for different countries, there are different regulations. So it is bit difficult for the companies as well to uh, formulate a product and launch successfully into the market so that the overall health of the population could be benefited. And the awareness of the population is also required that what kind of product they are actually taking in and in what condition it could be used properly so that their health is not suffered after all. So thank you so much.